praise God we are now at the end of 2020 and all praises to God that we are still alive to celebrate the birth of Christ with this great feel let us meditate the promise for the month of December it's from the book of Psalms chapter 94 verse 14 for the Lord will not reject his people he'll never forsake his inheritance this verse brings before us a most blessed and wonderful line of truth it's so so amazing that no human could have invented it it's unbelievable the great god who owns everything in the universe is thrilled that you are his possession we are his possession god never took this world to be his inheritance he never claimed heaven which is populated with angels to be his possession the lord's inheritance is not simply gold or silver he himself purchased you to be his possession by paying the sacred blood of christ in the cross what a wonderful god we have my dear ones which god could say this word it's beautifully explained in the book of uh, first peter chapter 2 verse 9 to 10 but you are a chosen people a royal priesthood a holy nation god's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of the darkness into this wonderful light once you were not a people but now you are the people of god once you had not received mercy but now you have received mercy what a great god we have my dear ones god himself has chosen you to be his possession i have a question have you ever thought yourself of being a part of god's glorious inheritance an inheritance will always make us heir rich have you ever dreamed of making your heir rich how can you make him richer does it mean that he is not having anything no he is well satisfied with everything he has but there is something he is longing for yes my dear ones he is longing for your heart to possess his glory and spread his love to the world inheritance is something that lasts forever and it has to be passed on from generation to generation our god is also expecting the same he is expecting to pass on his glory and his love to your next generation to have an eternal possession 2020 Just imagine how remarkably God led us all this 11 months. God never left us at any situation. He had never forgotten us. He was always with us at every difficult situation. But we often leave him. He is not such kind of God. It's you who leave God often. Our situations force us to forsake our loving father. sometimes god allows you to do so that's when things around you turn out bad god always asks us to do something for him but we never hear god always expects us to spend time with him but we never mind at all yes my dear ones god is insisting you to remember that you are his inheritance we often walk away from god forgetting that we are his inheritance god is speaking to you my dear ones you may forsake me you may forget me but i am your god who always follows you and i'm ready to take you back when you seek me with a meek heart consider your choices and your actions are you living a righteous life do you stand by every word of the bible if yes please continue it if not please do back up and find god get yourself on the right path and he will guide you one thing you must do is you must first agree that you are his portion you are his children you are his inheritance 
it's an insoluble bond written in the blood of Christ. We are his eternal possession. Our lives must reflect the faithfulness and the greatness of God. My dear ones, for this month, God is promising that he'll never reject you or he will never forsake you. Why? Because he has already done everything in the cross. He was forsaken so that we could never be forsaken. He was rejected so that we could be received. He was crucified so that we could be forgiven. He has risen. We are still living in that belief. My dear ones, we are at the end. God is again reminding you that you are my possession. I'll never ever forsake you. God is God and he'll never change his mind or he will never lie to us. My dear ones, realize the fact. Analyze yourself. Submit yourself to God. May God's divine grace enable us to walk worthy of our high calling. Have a blessed month. Wishing you all a very happy, peaceful Christmas. May God bless you all. Amen.